Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to try and make a mask brace for a mask fitter. There is a study. This one's from Madison University, Department of Engineering, David Rothmere, and a bunch of others. I've only printed two pages from the study itself. They had a range of masks and two types of fitter. One they'd made themselves called the Badger Mask, and one that's commercial in the USA called Fix the Mask. I can't get in the UK. It's very expensive anyway. So I'm going to make um, something that's approximate from spun bond polypropylene. I can't recall how thick that is. It doesn't matter. This isn't adding filtration much, at least, to the uh, surgical mask, which is the whole point. You put this on top of the surgical mask. So first of all, I have a template, a piece of spun bond polypropylene about twice the size. First piece is easy. I'm going to take a piece of wire. This one is upcycled mains flex from a recent rewiring of the house. I've got it in there, just there and in between, but I could easily take uh, some classic aluminium nose wire pieces. In this case, these ones are adhesive and I would stick two together to make them thicker so it would last months rather than a week. First so is fairly easy, it's this one. So now I have the thing folded in half. I knows why I wasn't quite in the middle, but I can just make that adjustment now or at any point afterwards. So the next thing for me to do is to put the template on and using chalk, I've previously used a white Sharpie, but I've just run out. I'm gonna pencil on the outer range of this. Right, so now we have the drawn on template. This stuff doesn't fray at the edges. If this was any other material that was sewn, woven, sorry, it would fray. But we can take advantage of this non fraying material and leave these edges as is. Or we could put a zigzag stitch, I can't remember what that's officially called. sensitive at the skin you probably could feel these un unsewn edges but I'm not too sure how much of an improvement the zigzag would be for this material anyway so that's where we are uh, what we want to do next is join these pieces at the bottom down here this is under your chin so I'm just going to layer them like that And then, oops, I need more fingers than I have, or better fingers. Change the stitch to a very zigzaggy stitch. So that's the structure of it. Um, finishing it, at least in this incarnation, is 
some straps that are going to tie in a bow behind your head. This stuff is slightly stretchy, it kind of helps as your uh, putting it on, you lower your chin to your chest and you tie the bow behind your head, behind your, under your ears, just a high neck mark. And uh, then, you know, practice plenty of times, but most adults will be able to tie a bow behind the back of the head. It stays on for ages, doesn't need adjustment. shoe shape ish you know that was about 10 centimeters for your nose your nose shape you put your surgical mask on first then you put this on your face then you put your chin on your chest oops that's not particularly good I don't know what I've done there oh no I've sewn it I've sewn it into itself okay never mind I'll take the thread picker on that one later another another sew that we could do to finish this is zigzag all the way around these edges on the, not so importantly, the insides, but more importantly, the outside where it may inadvertently touch your face. Either way, the structure of the nose wire holds that across your cheeks, tightens the surgical mask. These wider flanges here are because the surgical mask is rectangular and this one isn't rectangular. This piece under the chin is maybe okay for me. I don't know. I put it on and then go, on it I've made it too loose and strategized to maybe tighten that reduce that gap across there for my face in reality maybe there'd be a range of these with labeled sizes and a person with a certain face type would know which box to put the hand in to take one out um, these can be washed harmless they're not adding to filtration um, they just keep tightening the edges of your mask to approximate what fix the mask did or the badger mask from Wisconsin uh, University now, I have tested these on a port account, and they're pretty good, like 98%. And your surgical mask is ranging from as low as 40 or 50%, if not well fitted. If you're exceptionally good at pressing your surgical mask onto your face and then not moving, not speaking, just breathing, you can push your filtration results up quite high, above 90%. But this is the clincher. This takes you up into the high 90s, if it's on right. Anyway. This was 25 cents of materials. You buy this spun bond poly polypropylene on a roll, you're cutting off squares at a time. You could easily outsource this to any garment-ish organization and they could come back and buy the box full and last for months at a time if you wanted to push your standard surgical mask, procedural mask up into the high performance territory of FFP2, N95, KF95, KN94. Maybe not quite matching those, but up close. Thank you for watching.